Rise Son of Rome was always a weird game for me. I never actually played it when it was released as a launch title on Xbox One. However, when it came onto PC a bit later, I made sure I picked up the game and I actually had a lot of fun with it. With the more positive responses in the later years once it released on PC, it is without a doubt that there are definitely people that want a sequel to this game and we might just be getting what we've all been waiting for. Are Crytek really working on a Rise Son of Rome 2? First of all, before we get into the nitty gritty, let me give you a quick overview about what Rise is as a game, because it's had a weird launch. As I mentioned, it was the launch title for the Xbox One when that came out in 2013. And whilst it showed off the new power of the console with graphical fidelity, massive battles, and some incredible looking gameplay, it wasn't that greatly received. As a game, it's not fantastic. And don't get me wrong, I love it. I think Rise Son of Rome is one of my favorite casual just slip in and play, hack and slash a few barbones is an amazing Roman warrior, it's great fun. But in terms of historical accuracy, in terms of actual storytelling and gameplay, I would say it's fairly weak. And this was responded when it was released as an Xbox One launch title. The reviews were very much mixed, and from reports it hasn't sold as well as Crytek initially wanted. So at first there weren't really any hopes of it getting a sequel. However, as time went on, the thoughts and reactions towards Rise has kind of changed. You see, despite its sort of lackluster beginning, as it released on PC in 2014, I think people really started to appreciate it. You see, the story wasn't terrible. Yes, it wasn't the best storytelling you've ever seen in the game, but it was good enough. And the setting was fantastic. The way that they built Roman invasion of Britain. They also had this D-Day style landing, which in terms of historical accuracy made people feel sick. But in terms of gameplay, my, was it a lot of fun. And did it look epic? I think one of the main things that people take away from this game is how gorgeous it looks. And even to this day, it's probably one of the best looking games on any platform. But on its PC release in 2014, it added in additional graphical fidelity and of course, beautiful high frame rates. And this just made the game ever more enjoyable. Playing this game at 4K is something else. I know it's probably really hard to get to see it on YouTube, but if you put this video into 4K on YouTube settings, whilst it won't be as beautiful as actually playing it natively in the game, you'll get a good idea of how beautiful this game really looks. But over time, the reviews went from mixed to positive, and now they've ended up on Steam being very positive reviews, with over 21,000 reviews on its Steam release. So is this enough to give Crytek a reason to bring it back? And this is where it starts to get juicy. Nick Baker is a somewhat trusted, reliable source as an Xbox insider. And on the Xbox era podcast a couple of days ago, he announced something pretty fascinating. He was talking to a reliable source at Crytek in his own words, and the rumor has it that they are working on a sequel to this gorgeous game. To, of course, Rise, Son of Rome. He mentioned that it is being worked on and is currently in development, but of course, there was no sort of indication of when we'll be getting it or even hearing an official announcement about it from Crytek themselves. But what he did say is that the game is most likely going to be multi-platform, not exclusive to Xbox like the original was on its launch release when the Xbox One came out in 2013, but now hopefully they're gonna go to full multi-platform support. Now I doubt this will go into PS5, but I think definitely it'll be Xbox and PC. Which my, if they bring a PC release as soon as it launches, we will get one of hopefully the most beautiful games of all time. One of the most interesting points that I found is they called it Rise. They mentioned that they're working on a new Rise game, not a new Rise Son of Rome game. And this makes me wonder, of course, with Rise is the main title, then you have a colon, you have the subtitle Son of Rome. This indicates that Rise is the franchise itself and not not Rise Son of Rome. Many people would initially think that it's going to be Rise, Rome, something or other, carrying on the story of Marius in Rome and seeing what happens next. But is that true? Is it really going to be in Rome? If they've called it Rise as the main title, could we be going into different time areas? Could the franchise branch out into different periods and of course cultures, going into ancient Greece, even all the way back into Egypt, or maybe further on into a more medieval title? Now of course this seems incredibly unlikely and I think the Roman setting works really well well for it. Me personally, I am a massive fan of Ancient Rome, so any game set there, if it's done well, it is an instant seller for me. But it's just interesting to see how they're really focusing on calling it Rise as the next game, rather than another Rise Son of Rome. To further back up this argument, back in October of 2020, Crytek, unfortunately, it, they were hacked, but we got some interesting leaks out of it. The hacker released some documents on what Crytek were working on, and a list of their upcoming games. Of course, we got more Crisis titles, but one of the main ones was Rise Next. See how it says Rise next and not rise.
Rise, Son of Rome next. Of course, this is clearly indicating towards a sequel to Rise, Son of Rome, but whether it will be set in Rome, it's very unclear at this point. These leaks at this point, I would say, are somewhat reliable. Nick Baker has also discussed the leaks that came out from the hacking back in October, and he said from what he's heard from someone at Crytek themselves, they seem to be fairly accurate. And from the evidence we've seen and different bits of leaks and industry insiders, we could be getting this at some point in the future. I cannot wait to see if we get a full release of a new Rise of Rome sequel. I think the base game itself is, whilst it has its issues, overall is a really enjoyable experience. For what it is, it looks beautiful. And people say that graphics aren't everything, but I really do think the graphics do sell this game. Of course, when you get into the game, there are some really cool mechanics and some decent enough storytelling that keep you there. But just seeing the technology and how far it can be pushed, even as far back as a game from 2013, Rise of Rome and Crytek, as they always have been, is one of the forefronts of graphical fidelity in gaming, and it only begs the imagination of what a sequel to this game could be like. Whether it's going to be set in Rome or even a different time period, hopefully we'll hear something at some point in the next few years. Of course, there's nothing that's going to be coming too soon, because I doubt Crytek will really want to be announcing something at this point in time, but I would love to know your opinions. Did you play Rise, Son of Rome? What were your thoughts on it, and do you think it deserves a sequel? Me personally, I couldn't be more excited for this. Please leave your comments down below and I'll be sure to check up on them. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it, leave a dislike if you didn't. But until then, I will see you in the next one.